Hi, this is Maya with RICO. This video is about structured analytics and email threading. We're looking at the structured analytics sets. You can see the different options we have. Today we're focusing on email threading. Structured analytics will analyze text in a set of documents created by a saved search that you make. Um, it'll analyze the text and metadata of those documents to compare and group your documents based on that exact text. So it's going to take into consideration the exact placement of words and compare it to the exact placement of words in the other documents in that group of records. So you'll want to run your structured analytics across documents to shorten your review time, improve coding consistencies, improve your investigations by expanding groups of documents to find more information. You can optimize batch sets and even improve your analytics indexes. So email threading specifically, once you've run email threading in your database, you can pop back over to our documents tab and see the output. So what we have here is Relativity has analyzed all of our email sets to gather all of the emails within conversations. So they're grouped in a conversation thread. These threads are going to start with the original email and show us the entire conversation all the way through all the subsequent replies and forwards. So you can see here in this display, one of the fields that is um, created by your structured analytics process, email threading display. This is our high level overview of our conversation. We get the order of the documents. We get their attachments. We even get some information about the subject line, the sender, whether or not it was a forward or reply or even if it has an attachment, just based on the little graphical representation of this picture in our email threading display view. The field that's populated, the relational field that helps us pull documents into these groups is the email thread group. And that works with our related items pane here at the top, which you can see I already have enabled to pull in my conversations for records that I've selected from my search. This is a numerical value that's assigned, and you can see that the numerical value is consistent for all of the thread group members. Here's our display, which shows us the end of our conversation and how we've transitioned into the next conversation, the little blue bars. Now the colors of these boxes also make a difference. The dark box here, this is an inclusive email. Inclusiveness is also demonstrated in a field of metadata. You can see here, inclusive email. And this is the field that you'll use when you're going to batch your documents to help weed out documents that you don't need to look at based on duplicative text. So an inclusive document is a document, in this case, a forward, which contains all of the text and the attachment for this first level of the conversation. Item one is fully included within item two, so you don't actually need to look at item one so long as you understand that you've got the full text and you need to read the thread of this. So you can make a saved search for your batches, which excludes the emails with duplicative content and create what's called a last in time or an email thread suppressed review, where you're only looking at the emails with the most content so you don't have to look at the same conversation in a thread over and over again. So as I mentioned before, all of this information that's graphically represented in the email threading display field, you also find in your other fields related to your email thread structured analytics set. So if you wanted to see those in this information in fielded information, in fielded metadata, you can see that as well. So when and how will I use email threading? When you have a larger database with a lot of email and you need help paring down, as I mentioned before, you can create that 
email thread suppressed review workflow where you're just looking at the individual documents that you need to see with all of the content in them. If you need a reference to show where you're at in a conversation during your review, um, this is great for also expanding your searches. So if you're investigating a specific document and you wanted to see who transmitted that document and to where, you can use your related items pane to include thread groups and you can see where this document was transmitted or who was talking about a document or who was talking about a specific phrase. Um, it's also great for priv reviews. So if you needed to find a full conversation to check all of the emails in that conversation for privilege, include thread group. So looking within a document in the core reviewer interface, we also have our related items pane. Here at this icon at the bottom, it may be a different icon in your database, but if you mouse over and it says thread group, that's your one. When you click that open, you can see we've configured our view. This view can be configured to include what fields you wanna see. We've included it to look very similar to the email threading view that we just came from. So we have our email threading display with all of the information about our forwards and attachments and replies and so forth. And we can use this to click into the related documents, just like if we're doing a family inclusive review or if we're looking at MD5 hash duplicates, um, near duplicates, same workflow. You can check your items and mass code them and bounce around in your review. And lastly, I want to show you the email thread visualization. I'm going to show this in another video in a little more depth. But here is another graphical representation of your conversation within the core reviewer interface so you can see where you are in the conversation and you can click into other records to take you to find the most relevant document that you need to see. That was a lot of info. Feel free to pop into Relativity's documentation page if you want to learn more about the different fields that Structured Analytics applies and even some workflows can also contact your case admin. Thanks so much for joining me today. Happy reviewing.